Good morning. <laughs> that was quite the entrance tomato. She's she's gone. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to train this lamb on the machine after all. You'll be the most spoiled lamb in the barn. Some colostrum poo on you. <laughs> right there. Good mom. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Ladies. Any babies? wasn't sure what to expect tonight because usually when I leave the farm chaos ensues but I left the farm today and I was attempting to do some Christmas shopping um, and I'm realizing I've hit the age or maybe COVID did this but I got to the mall and I like blacked out I was like I don't remember what I need why am I here why is there so many people why am I so hungry and I like I had lunch I grabbed something for Jess and I was like, I gotta get out of here. Hi, are you hungry? I'll feed you in a sec. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? You've been waiting patiently. All right, let's get you fed. Let's get you fed. You stay with your mom until I come back with a bottle. It's right there. Right there. Confused. There you go. morning it's Sunday and uh, we are officially I think it's December 11th which means on the calendar we're officially halfway through lambing which almost depressed me this morning because I woke up and I'm like 
I have to do this 11 more days, at least, as long as they land by then. It's fine, everything's fine. Popcorn's little guy is doing good. I have to tag him today. I actually have to do chores for Carissa today. She went out with the girls last night. So I told her, she said she'd be late. I'm like, no, you're not. You're not gonna come in because you need the day off. Uh, she's been working pretty, she's been pretty much working straight here for the last at least three weeks between my place and the other farm she's been at. So this is our only weekend off for a while, maybe till the new year. Unless she wants to take time off mine, which she can. She knows that. We kind of have an arrangement that when she wants time off, she gets it. No questions asked. Uh, the rest of the time she's trying to make money, so she wants to work as much as she can. But yeah, looking like it's going to be an edit morning here, and then I'll run out after breakfast and start doing chores. These lambs are looking good. Oh no. So I made a bit of a discovery after I uh, tried to find my bottle baby this morning and uh, he was trying to drink out of mom. I'm like, what's wrong with you, mom? And then I looked, she looked really depressed and I looked behind her and she had like a pile of coagulated blood, like maybe the size of my fist behind her. And I'm like, that's weird. It's way too late for her to be cleaning. So I think maybe, um, the reason I had to treat her so much, I think maybe she had a bit of a tear from those dead lambs. It was a tough pull. Like I've been in the house for an hour and a half, two hours, and I treated her before I went back in the house and I held her head and I moved her a bit so she wasn't in the way of the creep area because she's standing right in front of the door or sitting right in front of the door and she died. She's, she's gone, she died. I know your mama died. So we're gonna have to bottle, we're gonna have to train this lamb on the machine after all. Yeah, she's got a little bit of blood on her back end, but other than that, like there's nothing oozing out of her. And she's just, yeah, she just didn't, didn't make it. Darn it. Hey, buddy. No, there's nothing there, I'm sorry, buddy. You are gonna go in here. Make some new friends. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tomatoes. Yeah, you eat those weeds. Hi ladies, you look so pretty in the snow. Little monkey, will you be able to go on it?
You'll be the most spoiled lamb in the barn. Look at your poop. It's okay. I bring some <laughs> Popcorn, relax. 68, I believe. This is really not an exciting update, but we have another set of twins, but only one with us. Uh, so Popcorn made 68, uh, the 68U, as long as I remembered that, I think I left off on number 67. Um, so we are at 146 lambs out of 100, and, sorry, out of 68Us. 2.147. I think that's right about where we were the last time I checked, which was a few days ago now. So this is my dilemma. Do I let Popcorn and Junior into the big group? Or does she stay and create her first pen on her own until these guys lamb? I am thinking her lamb has been a bit on the slow side. I am a bit concerned it'll get a little lost out in the general population. I might just tear down a few of these lambing pens and let them have their own kind of double wide view. But that just means we have to pay water to her, which is fine, it's just one. But I might shift everything this way still because these guys are growing like exponentially every day and I just, I'm, I'm feeling the walls closing in again and I hate that feeling. So I think I'm just gonna shift everything down to around the doorway there maybe and give these guys right up to the doorway of room and then start setting up the lambing pens on this side of the water bowl. I think I might do that. I'm gonna let these guys uh, into this area. I'll just tear the rest of those down. But uh, Popcorn's got her own kind of double wide right here. As these guys lamb, I have these all set up so they can move in here and they will all be let out kind of on this side of the water bowl and then they have access to the water bowl. That's kind of the point. So then the ones that lamb have access to that side of the water bowl, the ones that have lambed have 
access to this side of the water wheel. That is why there's a little bit of strategy that has to take place in my brain and my brain is on like, it's just misfiring today. It's not, it's not good. I, uh, I kind of fell asleep just sitting up on the couch at lunch. So I'm thinking uh, we are halfway through on the calendar through lambing, but my body's like, you're done. <laughs> really sure where that lamb got out because I have all the holes got all the holes plugged hmm. I don't know where they got out oh yes I do they may have been able they may have been able to get around this water gate down here and behind it and there is a little room under that gate if they squeezed to get through there that's why I always kind of put the lambing pen panels along the partition there because there is a there is a gap that if they are laying there they could try to get out and it might have got stuck behind the gate and it was like how do I get out of here and it went the wrong way they never know the way they get in is the way they get out that's just a sheep thing <laughs> how's the condo treating you there popcorn These guys are pretty quiet again this morning. Just want to check in on my bottle baby, but I have to be quiet because as soon as he hears my voice, he thinks I'm going to feed him. And he was on, he got on the machine. I went to grab a bottle last night and then he was on the machine really well. So I'm like, I'm not touching it. The morning rush is pretty busy right now, so. I've never seen him wag his tail. Ever. Weird. Good boy. You know where it is. Good boy. 
Well, your face is wet, so I think you're getting some. And you're not near as loud as you were yesterday. Hey, you were crying all day, weren't you? <laughs> Success! So it's always good. If you think a mom is kind of failing, it's always really good just to, just to be safe and supplement the lamb because you never know if you're going to eventually have to pull, pull them off. And you don't know, like that lamb wasn't getting enough milk anyway, but um, I just had a feeling I got to keep feeding it, got to keep feeding it, just so they remember another nipple that wasn't mom's. Uh, because I know it's weird, but just like human babies, they get nipple confusion and they get it really quick. Uh, so that's why we're really pretty adamant about that first 24 hours. We're just always feeding bottles and that's just so they don't get totally hooked on mom's tea and then you can almost never get them on the machine. They have to be a really hungry and smart lamb to get on the machine and uh, they don't always work hand in hand. <laughs> Some of the hungriest ones still will not go on the machine. Um, nipple confusion can be a real, real disaster. Good morning. <laughs> that was quite the entrance tomato. What are you doing? Looking for this? No. Hey, sweetie. How goes the whitewashing? <laughs> Are you almost done? Uh, yeah, this is good. It's already the afternoon. This morning, we, Chris and I actually spent some time in the market lamb barn and I had to weigh some lambs because uh, once or twice a year, I actually partner up with a local store, a farm, a farm market uh, in St. Mary's. So every year, once or twice a year, uh, I partner up with uh, a friend I used to go to university with, and he's got a farm store, a local farm store, and he likes to have some lamb around Christmas time and then I think around Easter time. Uh, and he had asked me a while ago, to be honest, and I shipped all my last market lambs and completely forgot. So I told him uh, when I weaned this last group, I said, actually, I've got a few that were quite big for their age. So I said, we may have a few ready uh, in a couple weeks. Well, it's already been a couple weeks. I knew lambing would like almost make me forget again, but uh, I did remember. So we weighed up and we do have three ready. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to hook up the trailer and just head to our local abattoir with those and then he will have some Christmas lamb for his customers. Uh, so that was a nice job to get done. I also ran into the post office and I'm starting to get some Christmas cards roll in. You guys are always so lovely. And, but yeah, and we got starting to get a little a few little gifts. I get mail all year long from you guys and uh, I appreciate all of them. I just, I don't want people to feel like they, like they watch it and then think that they have to get me something. It makes me, it's, it's just very awkward. So um, just know that I, I read your letters, I read the comments for the most part. Things I get in the mail, like so thoughtful and so very unique to me. So I do truly appreciate the gifts. Um, yeah, I just, I don't include them in my videos because I don't want other people that don't have the means to do that to feel like they have to because I don't need anything. I have a Lucy. I have sheep. I have two kids. I have a husband. I'm, I have everything that I need. However, this wonderful woman in Quebec, I just want to find her name because it was just so thoughtful. Melanie, if you guys remember baby goat from last year. So that arrived in the mail and I was just like, a, how are people so talented? Like, this is just unbelievable. So thank you for this. This is amazing. Oh, I don't have any room. I'll just throw you back there.
Hi, buddy. I know you're nice and warm. Hi. It's a tall lamb back there. It's got, uh, it looks like it's got the scours. So I usually just give them a wee little shot of an antibiotic and it usually kicks it right away. You got to catch it right away. So I'm just going to give him a little needle. And the rest look pretty clean. Sometimes they can get that they gorge on the milk because it's like an endless supply. Not very often though. We can usually get it conquered pretty quick. Hi, Teddy. She is not my friend. Okay, do you guys want some green? I'll get right on that. Oh, maybe. Oh, yes. Yeah.